Rob, I have a question for you. You mm-hmm. studied neuroscience. You know the brain. You're the brainiac here. What happens in the brain? Like what? What it really happens biologically when we're dreaming? Because a lot of people uh, say that the brain is rearranging something and uh, of what happens through the day. What do you think? Uh, <clears throat> what would you say happens? Yeah, just thought at the biological level, we know dreams are important. Mm-hmm. Uh, they carry out a lot of house uh, maintenance uh, kind of issues. Mm. They clean up the brain, essentially. Mm. Um, they store memories that we accumulated during the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, they kind of put things in their place so that you can recall them later. Uh Anything we learn during the day, for example, if you're a student and you're studying, it's been well documented. If you get a good night's sleep before the exam, you'll be able to remember and recall that information a lot better. Mm. And if you don't dream, the dream seems to be um, uh, kind of uh, about keeping the brain healthy. And mm. and kind of getting uh getting the trash out of the house. <laughs> so um, you know, I know that some people uh, say they don't dream, or you mm. know, talk to people about that. And so, uh, just because we're talking about the biology, what I noticed is that my clients, when they would um, be on certain medications, or they use sleep like Ambien or sleep medications, right. they would not dream or they not remember their dreams as much as some when they were off of it. And I don't know what's happening there. And then also, um, crazily enough, um, <laughs> when I worked in as a hypnotherapist, I helped a lot of people quit smoking. Mm. So they were on that, that drug that they give you to quit smoking. And I can't remember the name of it right now, but they said their dreams were out of control, like scary, scary, scary dreams. So I don't know. Sure what that does to the brain but it like opened up maybe the the deepest fears they had or something and they were just like i've had i had to stop taking that true uh, so so those medications really do affect your brain and then that affects your ability to process the dream yeah but, anytime you mess with your neurotransmitters through psychotropic medications or recreational drugs or mm-hmm. anything like that it's going to change your dreams uh because the 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 brain is really even more active during REM sleep, mm. which is dreaming, um, than during your waking life. Uh, it's kind of like in our waking life, where a lot of the activities we're doing, we're kind of going through them automatically, mm-hmm. so we don't have to really process them a lot. Mm. Uh, you know, they're repetitive events or things that we've done before. Whereas in dreams the brain is experiencing something new. It's creating its own internal environment, Mm. like a, like a 3d simulation. Mm -hmm. And it's putting you in the middle of the action. Mm. Most of the time. 